slip from the end to the outside. So I finally man finds a good way to make a real tapered line. Uh, as you can see, this is a continuous tapered line instead of a linear tapered line I had here. I mean in some sound quality wise I mean this is a piece of shit compared to this. This is a lot better. So and yeah I use this piece here to help me uh, making those corners. Uh, as you can see I had to do all this and that line is folded folded in here. So that's quite funny. And yes, yeah, still keeping the the double layer front piece looks better and uh, yeah, makes the box stronger. So keeping that and yeah, so um, their driver should arrive this week somewhere. I mean it was shit last week, end of the last week now. Obviously it's not here yet. And I bought it from a shop in Germany, so that's the reason why. So right now I'm using the T line. I mean the uh, Tap's horn. Just to get uh yeah a little bit better base because I'm not happy with uh the bomb pass right now. I mean on newer amps, on both amps it doesn't sound as good as it did before. And yeah, quite disappointed by that. But yeah, keeping those of course. But also I'm not going to replace this amp yet. Not yeah, not to bother. I mean you missing the high sound great, I mean fucking amazing but yeah the, the amp just doesn't have the power to let these speakers produce real bass but yeah I have a subwoofer in the corner so I don't really need that save a little bit of power but yeah it would be nice to get some real bass out of these things but yeah with this amplifier it's not going to happen so so this is what I'm up to right now uh, I hope that the, the driver would arrive today but yeah it, it hasn't sadly so that will be another day. Still need to figure out the staffing. So guys, could you uh, could you tell to me what I should do? Um, I used an alignment table, and the alignment table said that I should fill the first two thirds um, of the line with I should stuff that so with stuffing hmm? what what is stuffing what I mean I don't see the difference between dampening material and stuffing mm, yeah so the f the first section the f so it's two thirds of the line that should be stuffed and the rest of the lines that's the last one third should be filled with dampening material So, I guess you should have a look at uh, some pages on the internet. And so I'll have a look what uh, they sell on the internet. And yeah, I also need to have some spikes for the for the floor stand speakers, so that's not really a problem. big problem for me because normally I would not buy anything under the 20 euros because I have to pay like 8 euros of shipping cost so that's not really worthwhile for me so I really have to um, buy a little bit more to because else I'm just wasting money on shipping costs and I, I don't want to waste money on that stupid shipping I mean I'm only damp damping material interior it doesn't wait anything at all so yeah so this is what I'm up to right now tell me what you think about it I think it's great it looks great so uh, yeah I used to um yeah a 2 to 1 ratio of 
tape room, so looks good. And I've measured everything, everything is right. So only yeah, a little bit worried about worried about the, the stuffing, but yeah, I'm getting there. I'm not going to put any time in those stupid corner reflectors again. Just not going to put them in. Stupid things, don't need them. So thanks for watching.